This is Dalton here at Coyote Classics, and today we're going to be checking out and test driving some of these new inventory, including the infamous GTS. Tell me about the jacket, Big D. What, what's going on with this Diesel, David Hasselhoff jacket? I think it came in with this car. Chad hung it up in my office. It would fit good on him, but I thought it'd be a little more funnier trying to squeeze it around myself. Let's see. But I don't want to take it off. I, I really like it. It's pretty cool. I wore it yesterday. I kind of feel like I'm in a secret club, you know? I'm glad we, this is the only jacket here. Um, I don't know if it will become the GTO because I don't think I want to get rid of it. I like it a lot. But uh, I like the jacket just as much as I like this car. This car I drove the other day when it came in, just absolutely fantastic. 69 GTO, um, just a sh show car. Came with a jacket, a bunch of trophies, a bunch of receipts. And this is probably one of the best driving classic cars that I've been in in a while. So it is dirty, just came off the trailer. Um, wow. Yeah, really, really, really clean. Even when you, when you get her cleaned up, Paint on the inner fenders is nice. Yeah, the, the paint under the bottom of the hood is just gorgeous. Um, I did happen to just go through some of this paperwork a little bit ago. Big Oz. I like that. I like it. Um, anyway, so I went through some of this paperwork, tons of receipts. Uh, we also have a full photo album of uh, the car when it was restored during the restoration, rust repair, uh, just a little bit of everything. But uh, I can't wait till we get this one in and get it cleaned up and yeah. To drive See what again. It's like. But uh, one thing I love about this, so this stripe, it's got like they put the judge kind of stripe on it, mm -hmm. but it's like a, a different color. It's like a bluish purple, depending on how you look at it, with a lot of metallic. But the best thing about it is the way it drives, and I think I get to drive it today being that I do have the, the jacket. All right, well, let's just uh, get behind the wheel here in a second, and uh, we'll get back behind the wheel. Let's just see how it all works. I think these come with these cars from the factory, but the jacket's. Um, not the, the, you're so hung up on that damn jacket, aren't you? Um, yeah, uh, when well, you bought a, a 1969 GTO Judge, it did come with a jacket, not that GTO jacket, oh. I don't think. It was a different jacket. And so only when you bought a Judge. But as we just look at the quality of the restoration really quick, we're not going to go around the whole thing today. Um, we'll let you uh, wait till it gets all detailed up and stuff like that. But wow, all I can say is quality. Yeah. I forgot the keys on my desk, we'll run back in and grab them and then we'll, we'll take it for a spin. Such a nice sound here too. I'm so excited to see this thing all cleaned up and ready to go. Now this is a car! Oh yeah. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? I just feel so much cooler. Do you? Oh my god, it's unbelievable. You just feel cooler as soon as you put this jacket on. Big confidence boost. What, what's this say? Do not lower windows in excess speeds of 120 miles an hour. Brakes are really nice. I was just telling Chad this jacket's hot as hell. And it <laughs> smells like it hasn't probably been washed since 1980. <laughs> Holy smokes, this thing hauls. Yeah, I can't believe I'm trusting you driving. This is like the first time you're already going sideways. And you're uh, hitting the brakes. Uh, hey, I used to used to drive race cars, and it's warmed up, by the yes, way. We got it warmed up. Yeah, it sounds great, handles great, the brakes are awesome. What a nice car! Yeah, it gets sideways and it straightens out really well. I learned from the best. I've been on a lot of test drives with you, Chad. Just the sound of it is awesome. Yeah, I mean, and once we get up here too, it's kind of a windy day, but the thing, suspension-wise. And just drive-wise, I just love it. I mean, this is oh, wow. too fast. It's probably 85. You know, just tight, nice. Kick down, works great. Four barrels kick in. It's fun. I think I need a discount, a family discount on this. Oh, man. I love this car so much. It's nice and tight. Everything's tight on it. Fantastic GTO, guys. And this this is how it came in before we ran it through our shop or anything like that. Yeah, so we it, haven't touched it yet. No, it just came off the trailer. So, the you know, oil pressure's at 80 pounds oil pressure. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. Really, a lot of, a lot of leg room. Doesn't have tilt wheel, but it fits oh, you well, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Fits me better than the jacket does. <laughs> oh, man. This is 
is awesome. It is fun. Even you kind of feel it cut loose a little bit sideways when it shifts. But yeah, when you come around a corner and hit it, you'll get sideways. But the steering box is just like so tight, you never feel unsafe in it. Nice. nice. All right, let's turn around. Let's check out some of the other stuff we got. Um, let me get this jacket off. Time to come off. Time to come off. <laughs> So we're just gonna jump in the back quick. We'll just check out uh, that 72 Camaro that we looked at last week. Jay's getting that detailed up for the web. As long as we're at it, Branch is finishing up the wiper parts just came in for our Soul Demon. 66 Mustang sold last week, the little convertible as well. It's going, going to Canada. Yep, Canada, Canada. Oh, difference maker. That yeah, is. Jay, two questions for you. Do you have a nickname for this thing yet? Little Red Cherry. Little Red Cherry. What do you think of my second question? What Shining Cherry. Listen up, Jay. You focus in. This is a serious question. What do you think of the jacket? It's slick. Slick? You kind of jealous of it a little bit? Yeah. We're going to re-gift it to you. Okay. It's your bonus. Hey, this paint turned out awesome. Jay's got to do a quick wax on it, but we buffed it. If you look at the top of the hood, it looks great. Jay's going to go ahead and shampoo the interior. It's got the Z28 emblems, the cowl hood, the, the short bumper, Z28 uh, steering wheel, and a beautiful engine bay. Big thing is under the hood. About yeah. 450, 500 450, horse. yeah. This is horse, the previous owner said I drove it the other day. It's a rip snort. Is it pretty fast? Son of a gun. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Fun Look at car. this too. Look at the quality of the paint under that hood. Yeah, and this will be on the website, you know, sooner than later. So. Probably tomorrow. Definitely yep. tomorrow. Wednesday afternoon, something like that. You don't have to go very far to see the Nova. We're still waiting on the LS5 Chevelle to come in. It's supposed to come in last week with some of these, and um, got delayed in transportation. This Nova turned out fantastic. If you guys remember last week, it had. Uh, we put, didn't have these wheels on. It had, it had rally wheels. 14 inch uh, rallies, uh, no wheel well trim. And the paint didn't look that good. I mean, the paint looked okay, but it kind of came in dirty. We buffed it, uh, shined up all the chrome. It's fantastic now. And this one's on the site. Uh, make sure you check that out. That thing's not going to last very long. And then let's check out our Cuda that we drove this afternoon, too. Yeah, let's do that. Sitting right over here. We played a little uh, musical cars today and got a bunch of stuff moved around. Also, uh, here at the dealership, the carpenters are back. So, they're yep. finished, right? They're finishing up some shelves. They're finishing up uh, some storage stuff, a lot of the little trim and stuff like that. So, we're kind of working around that as well. But we're thankful those guys are back and uh, going to finish it up here at Clarity Classics. This Kudu is sweet. You know, the look of it's fantastic, but the drive was awesome. They, they went above and beyond on this thing, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Very nice. <laughs> got a 323 sure grip in it. The speedometer works perfect. I mean, there's no bounce in. Those disc brakes, I mean, they stop you right now. Look at that. No pull left or right. Really nice full pedal there. Yeah, you can feel the, that six pack kick in there. Trip to going in a second. Now she's moving. Now she wants to go. Yeah, you can just hear those um, three deuces open up. Cool car. Really drives nice. I mean, as we're going down the road, the, the cool thing is, just check out these brake, the brake system on it. The brake system is awesome. Like I said, great driver. Just a fun turnkey Cuda. <laughs> I know we've had a lot of people waiting for Cudas, and uh, this is a great one, guys. 340 with a six pack. This awesome restoration on it, too. Laser straight. Yeah, and if you don't like black, back here we got one in another color. Timmy, uh, can we interrupt you for a minute, please? Timmy's <laughs> doing some heavy cutting here. So, we <laughs> are. This is a beautiful, beautiful car, but it had a, a cage in it. The interior was really nice. The freaking cage was nice, too. The cage was but, nice, too, but we kind of talked and you couldn't get in the back seat. It was just kind of a pain in the ass on, on a nice car like this. You know, we're going to remove the, the roll cage. Oh, he's got it out of there already. Good job, Kenny. Good job. Um, obviously, you know, we're doing it right, taking everything out, cutting it out of there. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. Rochester Restored Plum Crazy Purple 1973 Barracuda Turn Cuda. Painted, painted underneath. And uh, engine base, fantastic as well. I know we got a real big mess here, but 
We got new. Did you order new wheels for this one too? I did. I ordered That's brand new wheels. Good. We got uh, either torque drop or uh, US mags coming for it. 15 inch raised front letters. I ordered, also ordered a wheel one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, look at that thing, man. This thing's some serious, serious horsepower, aluminum heads. Um, fantastic. Yeah, this thing's sharp. I'm excited to see it all put back together. See these hard work. And this is the GTO that you know we just, just drove earlier in this video. Mike's pulling it in, starting the check-in. But wow. in here you can see that beautiful blue. He just yeah. started wiping it off. He's got the dust off of it. But we'll give it a light polish, just get any little uh, little uh, marks off of it. Did you drive it yet, Mike? I haven't driven it, no. Yeah. It's, now you can see that stripe too. It goes from like blue to like a purple or black. It's that's one of my favorites on the lot. I mean it's a shame to cut this out, but I mean, you can tell how what quality the paint and stuff was on it, but to me, roll bars just really eliminate our customers here at Kyrie Classics. And uh, we want this to be ready for anybody. You don't need a roll, car, roll cage in this to drive this car. Yeah, it's, a, it's too nice to, yeah. you know. If it were me, I'd want to be able to have people in the back seat and the interior is finished so nice. Pur painted purple underneath. How about this little, uh, little Mustang? Just yeah. a great looking little car. So 289, looks like, uh, yeah, 289, big four barrel on it. Uh, runs good, drives good, it's got the GT headlights, GT exhaust, we kind of talked about this last time. Just a nice driver conditioned car, but I love the four speed and I love the pony interior. We did the wheel wheel trim, and by the time this video's up, uh, this you will know, be on it'll be on the too. website. So, yep. Yep, this will be on tomorrow and so will the Camaro, so. Yep. Probably, yeah, before your video up, these both will be ready to go. I love the pony interior and cleaned up. This is a cool, cool car. Yeah. Just kind of a quick video this week, you know, just showing you kind of where we're at with some of the new inventory. We still have a lot to check in. Um, we have some more cool stuff coming in, a 63 Impala with a um, LS in it. Yeah, that's gonna be a fantastic car. That one's coming in out of Kansas. Um, we also have a 64 GTO uh, factory tri-power, mm -hmm. all numbers matching, white with black interior. That's mm -hmm. coming in from the same owner. Still waiting on that LS5 Chevelle. So yep. we have I mean, enough uh, we to- We got that 69 Camaro, a red resto mod convertible oh, yeah. coming, and a couple other 80, 85 Monte SS with fuel injection, and that 95 special, special 20,000 mile car too. Firebird Transit. So we got some, some really cool stuff, enough to keep everyone entertained for the coming weeks. Um, but again, if you see anything that you like here, you know, keep you it- you see in, the trunk paint? Just kind of show them. This is how yep. the underneath is and stuff too. Look at the quality of that car. That's very nice. Very nice, and uh, it's fantastic. Side note, you know, if you see anything that you you know you like and it's new inventory, just be patient with us as we work it through the shop. You know, our main goal is to make sure that all these cars are are ready to go for you. Well, just um, like this one, remember, I just to showed you a, a few small things on this one. It came off trailer. One of the hideaway headlights worked. One didn't. There's just a couple little things mm -hmm. still that we have to do, even though they come in this gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's always things that we fix, isn't there, Mikey? What are some of the main things that we fix here at Coyote Classics like that you have to fix and even on a nice car like this? Lights. Lights is a big one. Like uh, old cars with bad connections, grounding issues, just kind of fiddly stuff. Um, what else do I do a lot of? I do some brakes. Brakes are another big one. Kind of from sitting around, something yeah, like that. Yeah, just sitting around, they get dirty. Sometimes you get a leaky wheel cylinder. It's a easy fix, but then the brakes don't work as good as they should. Yeah. And we yeah. take care of all that uh, wheel trim. You know, yeah, just we dress them up a little bit, like yeah. that Nova. What yeah. night and day difference? I'm sure Dalton will post something on that, but yeah. night and day difference of what we do here at Coyote Classics. We start with a nice car and make it even better. Right. Yep. Trying so yeah. to get it as close to perfect as it can be. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Sometimes that just takes a little time. You know, feel free to call us if you're interested in some of these that aren't on the site yet. Well, you know, how about that charger? So that charger, oh, oh my God. It's all right. All right, so sorry. That wasn't Timmy, that was the Carpenters. All right, like I said, we're working through some stuff here. But that charger's at an exhaust shop right now. We painted the whole underneath gloss black. It looked terrific. Took all the exhaust off, all the original, put some ceramic headers on it, and put brand new dual exhaust. So that'll be back next week too. Yeah, absolutely. So. A lot of cool stuff. So make sure we do one of these every Wednesday. Next Wednesday, like I said, we have you know, all kinds of new stuff. So um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We appreciate everyone watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.